Hi, I'm Ashlyn Ferguson and I was asked to create a video about something worth our interest. I couldn't think of any better subject deserving our attention than our Campo Verde teachers. They spend countless hours devoted to helping us learn and showing interest in us. So I made this short video for us to show a little more interest in them and why they do what they do. Thank you teachers! I started teaching a long time ago and I had a different career in the art field but I didn't feel like that was what I was meant to do and I really loved um, explaining the process of it and I really enjoyed how my teachers taught me and my professors taught me in college so I thought maybe I would give it a shot at teaching and I love it and I've been teaching for 14 years. Aww. Yeah. Well, initially I wanted to teach because I had a really strong interest in um, high school students and a really strong interest in um, science and a really strong interest in athletics. And so for me, um, I saw a way for me to be able to enjoy those three different things um, all wrapped up into one profession, which is, which is teaching. Um, I wanted to be a teacher because I absolutely loved high school and it was one of the best parts of my life and um, there really wasn't anything that brought me more happiness than, than going to school and so I thought why not be a teacher. I don't know that I planned to teach. I earned my degree in business management, international business management, and I thought that I would find my purpose in traveling and working abroad and things like that. But um, I started to just in case take some educational classes as my plan B for when I became a mom. And the more classes I took in college that were related to education, the more I fell in love with the profession and knew that it was what I was supposed to do. I've just always loved education. And I, uh, even from when I was in high school, I wanted to be a teacher. I just loved to learn. And uh, the only thing better than learning is to teach. There are so many things that I love about teaching, but one of the best parts about teaching are teaching students, especially like these guys. <laughs> Conveying my excitement for the things that I get excited about. So um, when I see um, young people get excited about the same things that I get a big kick out of, that's a lot of fun for me. And so I get a big kick out of things like building strong community amongst people. Um, Last week we had this unified basketball game um, happen on our campus and my students were able to go to that and to get to have this discussion with them afterward about what they experienced and the way in which that event brought our community together and taught us all a little bit of something about one another and humanity. It was like a really cool thing to see um, high school freshmen get excited about something like that. It's the kids, just getting a new batch of kids every year and just building relationships and getting a whole bunch of new friends and and um, learning about the kids. I just love my students. I love the kids. Uh, they make me laugh every day. They challenge me. Um, they keep me humble. And I love that no two days of this job are ever exactly alike. I think I might be bored if I went to work knowing exactly what to expect every day. And it's absolutely the contrary of that. And uh, the relationships that we as teachers that I get to build with students, it's fulfilling. I love it. I think the best thing is the students. Honestly, the best part of my day is coming in here and joking with the students and just I, I look forward to working with you guys every day. Um, it's very, I'm busy being a mom. I have two daughters, a 10 year old and an 8 year old and they're pretty awesome and I love to do fun things with them. We like to bake together and we like to be outside and doing physical activity and so I do a lot of photography on the side and I hang out with my kids. Well, as most teachers would probably tell you, uh, a lot, not a lot of teachers have much of a life outside <laughs> of teaching, as, as, uh, as sad as that sounds. Um, but it's just because our job can be very pervasive into our lives outside of here. Um, but 
outside of teaching, I really enjoy spending time with my wife and she and I have um, a five month old baby boy who's just the cutest thing. Um, I really love spending time with my brothers who live here in town. Um, I love um, being physically active and I like going out on runs and riding my bike. Um, I've got a dog that is very energetic and she um, appreciates going out and running with me. And um, So I, I love spending time with the, the people in my life that are important to me and finding ways to be able to, I guess, have a release from um, all the weird little pressures and things that life can have on you. Outside of teaching, um, I'm a mom. I have two kids. Um, my daughter is in college. She goes to BYU in Provo and she just got her mission call. She's going to go to Jamaica on her mission. My son is at Desert Ridge. He's a junior. Um, outside of school, when my foot's not broken, I like to work out and I like to travel during my summers and um, that's about it. Absolutely boring. I have no life. <laughs> I am a mom. I'm a single mom, and uh, so I don't have her for too much longer. As far as I know, I'll be an empty nester soon enough. So I'm treasuring the, these moments where I am a full-time mom. I'm um, I'm also a devoted daughter and friend. I do lots. It sounds corny, but I do lots of things to help my friends and my family, and that's it. Fills my life. Um, I go to church. I. I don't do as much play on a week-to-week -week basis as I would like, you know, but during the summers I travel and spend a lot of time with my friend Sarah Singleton, and um, my life is good. Okay, if I could teach my students something other than photography or video editing, it would be not to worry so much about what people think of them in high school. Well, as much as I like to think that biological concepts are important to learn, um, I would have to admit that anything that I can teach students about biology is not nearly as important as what they can learn about being good people. And I hope that through the different interactions that students have with me and with their classmates in my classroom, that along the way they're learning some different things about what it means to take care of other people and what it means to uh, um, I guess, you know, not take certain things for granted and learn to work really hard to achieve the things that they want to achieve. If I could give my students one piece of advice, it would be to um, be a good person, you know. Um, I, one of my students once said, it's better to be a good person than it is to be popular. So. Be a good person, be a good student, be a good uh, friend, be a good son or daughter, but just be a good person. Never stop learning. Every single person you meet can teach you something or you can teach them something. So learn throughout your entire life. Nothing is free. <laughs> I am Miss Fredette and I teach digital photography and digital media. And I love teaching. My name is Mr. Applebach. I teach biology at Campo Verde High School, and I love teaching. Well, my name is Sarah Singleton. I teach American Sign Language and Student Council, and I love being a teacher. My name is Kathy Biggs. I teach high school Spanish, and I love to teach. I'm Chuck Fraser. I teach economics, and I love to teach.